Hi, today's presentation is about auto scaling in OpenStack without telemetry. I'm Dad Wu Tuan from Viettel Group. The other speaker, Gian Wu Tuan, is busy today, so he cannot join me. We will have four parts today. The first one, what is auto scaling and what auto scaling can do. The second one, OpenStack auto scaling with heat and telemetry. The third one, and talk about what are the problem with telemetry. And the final, I will introduce our architecture with Faith and Prometheus. So what is auto scaling? Auto scaling creates a target tracking scaling policies for those resources in your scaling plan. The scaling policies adjust resources capacity in response to live changes in resource utilization. And in most architecture, auto scaling is simply uh, the combination of three step, metering, item, and scale. So auto scaling in OpenStack with heat and telemetry. In OpenStack by using predefined rules uh, that consider factors such as CPU or memory usage, OpenStack heat will add or remove additional instances automatically when they are needed. The architecture, the component, the core component providing automatic scaling is orchestration, which is heat. The template defines rules to evalu evaluate system load based on telemetry data to find out whether there is need to add more instances into stack. Telemetry does performance monitoring of your OpenStack environment, collecting data on CPU, storage, and memory utilization for instances and physical hosts. However, there are some problems with telemetry, especially with our rocky OpenStack environment. First, telemetry projects are lack of contribution which I think is the most important factor of an open source project. As of the Queen's release, the telemetry has lost several developers. The development of Panko and ALDH has stopped. Nocti was moved out of OpenStack in June 2017. The integration between Gnocchi and LDH is really not good. Gnocchi is unmaintained. So, Cellometer is only capable of collecting OpenStack related metrics from instances. How about application data? Customizing in telemetry is not easy. How about custom rules, custom metrics? In order to custom rules and adding new metrics to Cellometer, three different projects need to rebuild and reinstall. Cellometer is a plugin, connect to store new metrics, and IODH to able to be evaluate new metrics. And one more thing, RabbitMQ was under heavy load due to Cellometer workload. If Cellometer gets stuck, it queues overflow and ALDH listener doesn't support high availability. Next, I will talk about our problem. Uh, we use Prometheus ecosystem to monitoring the whole infrastructure system as well as applications. So why we use Prometheus? Prometheus features a customizable toolkit and delivers metrics without creating lag time on performance. 
control methods also support a wide range of exporters uh, Prometheus and also has a really nice query language from QL. So um, I was showing you the auto scaling uh, is a combination of three steps before the, the metering um, and scale. So in mapping to OpenStack, uh, Heath and telemetry, um, the cellometer and connective is uh, in charge of metering and AODH for alarming and heat for scaling. So we use Prometheus stacks to collect and store metrics and heat for scaling and we need a new want to do alum based on metrics from Prometheus. Mm. Here we introduce Faith, uh, an open source software we build ourselves, working at us as a bridge between any cloud platform uh, from OpenStack or cloud platform, Amazon Web Service to any monitoring system. So the old architectures with heat and telemetry uh, we move to the new architecture with Prometheus, Prometheus exporters and Faith. So how it works, Prometheus collects and store metrics from a set of Prometheus exporter in OpenStack, we use OpenStack SD config to auto add or remove instant by querying OpenStack. We add a label and query OpenStack instant list using instant met metadata. Basically, we add uh, metadata to instances and uh, based on that kind of metadata, we add a new label uh, to metrics. And then Faith periodically checks scalar rules user-defined from QR expression by querying Prometheus to evaluate query is satisfied or not. If the rules is satisfied, then trigger a scale action. From there, hit when take at the rest. Here's is a Example from our system. When system on peak hour uh, is had a really high traffic, so we need to scale more instances to serve user requests. When the system uh, in off or peak hour, the traffic is really low, so we need to scale in. Uh, we remove uh, instances for uh, for other applications. So why we use Faith and Prometheus? As I said before, Prometheus uh, provide a very flexible query expression and Prometheus also support a wide range of exporters. So many metrics can be used are combined with each other, uh, we can fully handle trigger scale, scale action uh, method, uh, number of retries or kind of delay. And uh, Faith also has its own cluster me mechanism. We also have uh, web UI and HTTP API. So, here is our uh, web UI. Uh, you can specify uh, what kind of uh, query you want to input into query and uh, the duration, interval, text, uh, description, and so on. So, this is our UI. You can choose a different cloud 
from the cloud input and uh, prompt KOL query goes here. The inter interval uh, is the, the delay between each uh, prompt QL check. The duration is uh, the, the total uh, amount of time from the beginning of the query happens to uh, the when the action triggered. Cooldown time is the time between two uh, HTTP action. Okay, let's go to the demo. Here I have one instance which has a uh, centered 7.7 .7 image. Yeah, I have a heat stack with a flavor M1 medium and CentOS 7.7 .7 image. I have one um, dummy from, from QL, which calls the number of Faith instant. Okay, uh, let's check if uh, the number of uh, Faith in instant equals 12, uh, the interval of 10 seconds, one minute duration and cooldown 1.5 minutes. So for the URL, I cut, copy the scale out URL of uh, the heat stack. Okay. That's okay for the scale out. So let's create another for the scaling action. Okay, repeat the steps, copy the scaling URL. Okay, let's check if we have two scalers. Okay, let's go. Let's wait. Boring step. It may uh, take one minute for Prometheus exporter to um, Prometheus to scrap metrics from Prometheus exporters and another minute for muscular. So that may be two minutes, up to two minutes. Uh, okay, another instant. Another instant having CentOS 7.7 .7 image and M1 medium flavor. Okay, delete uh, scale out, scalar. Okay, remove one faith instant. So the number of instant less than 12. Okay, it's 11 now. And wait for another one or two minutes. So 
one instance is being deleted, it works as expected. Okay. So thank you for your attention. If you have any question, please ask me now or feel free to contact us via email on the screen. Thank you.